Hey my friend, your girl here, Camille Thompson, Miss Naturalist. This is a video that I do not shoot video on Sunday, but before going into the New Year's, I decided to shoot this video because I need to let you guys know what are my resolution, uh, what is the New Year's resolution for me, and the fact that I am coming on video to let you know um, my background in terms of that you know all my video has been with my kids probably a, a review with information system natural hair thing of that nature today this video is completely different I want to talk about my spiritual growth with Christ right so you may not know um, I am a Christian I spent most of my life in church um, as a believer so let me just give you a quick quick rundown okay so I was born in Jamaica I grew up in church since I was a baby up until now um, I got baptized when I came to the state and I've been living in this country for 23 years and since living in this country I decided to give my life to Christ um, at the age of 14 years old so I got baptized when I was 14 years old um, as I said I feel like still growing up in church although I was not baptized at that time I know my spiritual walk should be Christ right so age of 14 got baptized I tried to do my best in church living in the sight of God which means doing the right thing um, growing spiritual with him you know, um, sometimes we all go through the test and trial every day. Life is surely not easy. It's not, it was not easy for me. And I tend to lost my way. When I meant lost my way, um, at age 18 years old, I believe, I wanted to do my own thing. As a result, I went back to the world, started to do my own thing, party, clubbing, everything you can think of, Camille, it was just me you know when you're on your own as a, a young adult you tend to want to explore right you want to do everything but when I mean everything I didn't mean like drugs drinking thing of that nature I never never smoke you know I, I drink very lightly like just a Malibu I remember when I used to party um, never do drugs you know none of those things what I meant like doing everything mean like going to party yes I had boyfriends you know thing of that nature but I felt like no matter what I was doing out there in the world I just knew that Jesus was walking with me because the reason why I can say that too many things happen out there while I was out there with colleagues um friend during my um adolescent days you know and there's just so much things happening and I felt like God has protected me throughout all those situations and hurdles and tribulation. Don't get me wrong though. I went through bad times in my life. I hit rock bottom in my life. I hit rock bottom to the point where as I had to start over when I mean it's like on my face. That's what Jamaican would have said. Yeah. When, when I mean on my face, I mean starting from from the ground going back up you know what I mean so when I tell you I go through so much I did went through a lot of hardship but with God on my side I was never able to go mental was never able to go in no jail you know was never able to let a man abuse me thing of that nature never happened to me and so you know what used to happen I found my way back into the church the reason for that I remember I used to go clubbing and I used to come home at five six o'clock in the morning and the spirit would just talk to me and tell me get up and go to church although I came in from the party in the morning it was just the spirit keep nigging me in my ears telling me to go to church and so I would go to church at 12 o'clock and as tired as I was I still get up and I go to church so I feel like it was just some calling on me that I am a child of God I knew it you know I just knew it when I anywhere I go I just knew something was always different about me and I just knew that 
I know where I belong. It's just that at the end of the day, human relations, how we are women, we tend to want to go out there and explore and sometimes we, we, we rebel about certain things, you know? And that was me, I was a rebellious child. But although I was going through all those issues, I knew that my calling was being in the church and I knew I am, and I know that I am anointed by God because for some reason, it's like, I can't explain it, but I know where I belong, bottom line. So the main reason why I shoot this video is just to really let you know what are certain things that I wanna change in my life as we transition into the new year, 2018. The main thing I want to focus on more is my Bible, right? I tend to pick up my Bible once or every other day, right? And I'm being very clean and honest to you. Once or every other day. And my, my heart is to really pick up the Bible and read it and pray and get some understanding and wisdom from the Bible and I tend to don't do it as often because it's just so much going around me it's so much to do and it's like you know I don't want to feel as if I'm putting God on the back burner you know what I mean and sometimes when we go to situation that's where we want to put our main focus is on him I don't want to do that and I see myself doing that years ago so my main focus this year, I want to pick up the Bible at least twice for the day, morning and night before I go to my bed, read a scripture. That is one of my New Year's resolution. I want to be able to be in my Bible more as opposed to keep picking up my phone, being on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, on YouTube. It's like, I'm telling you the truth, it's like I feel like I am so lost sometimes because I get so... Uh, accustomed to want to pick up my phone sometimes I spend hours on my phone as opposed to picking up the Bible I mean it's natural that we tend to do these things because is we interact in, in in the social media in the environment so often sometimes we can't catch ourselves doing it you know if you hear me kind of mixing up some word I'm Jamaican that's my background so sometimes you may hear a little mixy word here and then don't pay me no mind but yeah, as I was saying, I'm very, very distracted uh, with social media as opposed to picking up my Bible so often. So that is one of the main, main, main New Year resolutions. Something that I definitely want to do is read my Bible more, get true understanding of the Word of God, and live my life right. So the second one is, okay, it's very hard. Like... I don't pray three times a day, right? Uh, my philosophy and discipline, uh, I'm supposed to be praying three times for the day and I tend to don't do it. You know, because I go to school, full time is just so hard with three children. It's like soon as I get up, the first thing I do is when I wake up, I will pray to God. I would read my Bible, a uh, few little scriptures, it could be two, I still read a scripture and then from that I'm just busy non-stop. When I come home it's time to like bathe the kids, get them together again, you know go through their homework thing of that nature, get myself together, homework, boom. Sometimes I forget to pray and sometimes I forget to read my Bible. And I tend to mess up on that. It's like, it's very hard. I'm not lying to you. That's very complex for me. And I, that is something I definitely want to change in my life as I go into 2018. Right? Uh, the third one, I want to live my life as clean as possible. So when I mean as clean as possible, you know, there are times when I could be angry. Can you close the door, please? Please, can you close the door? Please. Please, Jenny. Jenea, can you just take her for 10 minutes, please? Let me just finish this video, please. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so when I'm living my life clean, okay, so I go to church as often as I can, and um, I do everything of God that I should do, but there are some times 
Let me close the door. Sorry, my friend. So there are times when I get angry, and when I do get angry, I tend to not think before I talk. I will just express myself to how I feel, and I will tell a person how it is, how I feel. You know, no profanity. I'm not, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God. I, that's not what I mean, like control myself or my mouth in such way, no profanity. I do not curse or anything like that. But I have a temper sometimes as if when I get upset, I tend to just tell you how I feel. And sometimes it can be a little bit rude. Sometimes it could be a little bit harsh, you know? Because one thing I understand about human relation is that not everyone tend to handle some situation the same way. You know, whereas me in particular, like you can say something to me or try to offend me in such way and I'll be upset for one hour. The next hour, got rid of that. It's me and you again. That's how I am. However, another person, I may say something to them and it may hurt them, you know, and they tend to not get over the situation. So the point that I'm trying to make is that I want to be able to control myself in such a way that before I talk in the tip of my tongue, I will, my, before I talk, you know, using the tip of my tongue to speak to other, I want to be able to think of what I'm going to say as opposed to say it and then afterward feeling like I shouldn't have said that. You know what I mean? I don't know if you could like relate with me or connect with me or something. Like I tend to do that. I mean, if you feel the same way too, let me know. I mean, I'm talking to you right now. It's me and you, you know. Let me know what is your New Year's resolution. I would love to know. But I just feel like these are things that I need to change in my life. Because at the end of the day, I do not want to live Christianity in vain. I don't want to. I mean, when you read the book of, Re Re when you read the book of Revelation, it tells you that we are in the last days. It tells you the thing that is happening. And as a result, I can see things that are manifesting today. And I don't want to live my life and lost. You know what I mean? I don't want to say I'm a Christian and not doing what I'm supposed to do as a Christian. So what I mean like reading my Bible, pray more often, uh, be good unto others. That I have no problem about. I am good with people. Um, I don't live my life like, you know, trying to hurt people. I try to be as kind as I can. If I don't have it, I cannot give. But if I do have it, I will give, I will share. Because I need to know that I am doing what I'm supposed to do. When you make a covenant with God, you have to keep it and you have to live by His Word. So that's three things. So for the fourth one now, so you may not know, I have so much talent in me. Like, I, God is just good to me. Like, it's just so much I can do. I'm a graphic designer, I'm a photographer, you know. I am a marketer right in different areas you know um i can play a little bit of music at church i play the drums i help out at times um i can sing i can dj you know um i like to sing and for the new years i want to be able to do what i was doing before in 2005 or 2003 i believe i was on the street djing guys i was on, um, I was, uh, the, um, Donovan Thomas was managing me, and I swear I was a DJ, and I was out there uh, creating songs and here and there and stuff, but th that did not turn out pretty well for me. God has a plan for me. It ended up that things did not work out, and I had to merge and get out of what I believe was going to ex expose uh, certain things in that environment whoever I was with I just felt like something was about to happen and God pushed me the other direction therefore I had to divert and be myself and try to uh, and, 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 and just try to create life on my own you know so as I said you know it was a lot of little things I went through and one of my main focus I do not want to DJ like a hardcore um, reggae, um, you know, but I mean like reggae gospel. I want to be able to use my voice in God's house, you know, um, meaning like 
I like to DJ, I want to switch it over to Christianity. I want to uh, sing reggae gospel, you know. It's not something that I want to go out and tour and thing of that nature. No, when my, um, church, when my church have concert, different function and stuff like that, I want to be able to sing my own songs. I do not want to sing like other people's song and replicate it and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. So that is my uh, fourth uh, resolution that so that is the fourth thing that I want to be able to uh, move forward into the into the year 2018. I want to be able to have my songs going. And what I may do from time to time, I would just like record something that I wrote, and I may just shoot videos and put it out there live, and you let me know if it's something that you like, and give me your feedback, guys. You know, the main reason why I create this YouTube channel here is to really network. It's amazing how technology is so advanced and it's so worldwide that you don't physically have to be in front of me to say hi, to, to you know, to network. We can do this worldwide on just, uh, and just a, on an LCD, like you know how I'm talking to you right now, you connect with me. You may have, you may have similar similarities, you know, along with me, and you may be sim, and you can connect with me somehow, you know. So I'm just glad that I was able to create this channel here, share my thoughts, you know, my experience of life as a 33-year-old woman. It's not easy. Life is tough but with God on my side and nothing less than salvation and to be honest with you that is one of my main focus I want to be able to live my life right pleasing unto God and make it in because salvation lasts forever and for some reason I see my three kids growing I pray to God that he he protect them but i want to make sure that i make it in i hope to god i can see my children my husband my family everyone in the same place but all i know that no one can carry no one can carry my soul i'm the only one that can carry my soul therefore i need to make it right i need to clean i need to be clean i need to be sanctified and this is my new year resolution walking into 2018 and i'm glad if you are here this far watching this video thank you for listening to me because i mean well i want to make it in i want to live my life clean unto god thank you for watching this video share your thoughts as well if you have a new year resolution share it with me and subscribe to my channel if you would like thumbs up send your comment take care now my friend Bye-bye. New Year's in church, guys. Come to church. Come to church. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year.